Hi, welcome to Cooking with Steve. If you're anything like me, you're sick and tired of spending hundreds of dollars a month on tartar sauce. So I'm going to show you how to make it today with a few simple easy ingredients and this will only take 15 seconds once you have all the ingredients lined up. Now you're going to start saving a fortune on tartar sauce. Alright, this tartar sauce consists of one and a quarter cups of mayo, or Miracle Whip if you're healthy, your quarter cup of diced up dill pickles, not sweet mixed, not sweet relish, just go with the dill because it will give it a, a less craft flavor. Uh, you're going to have probably two tablespoons of diced onions. Now I don't, do, I don't have a food processor so I've really diced these small, but it's going to give you a great tartar sauce. Moving right along, we got parsley and this is probably a tablespoon of parsley. I didn't have fresh, you probably should use fresh, but if not, use dried. And then I have minced capers. These are optional if you're not a fan of capers. And finally, the dash of however you pronounce Horschnessner Schreiner sauce. So that all, as you'd imagine, nothing really to think about here. It all just gets dumped in. One thing I did forget to mention was a teaspoon of lemon sauce. Or lemon juice, not sauce. Juice. Started making beer batter, fish, and chips. And I started with the beer before I made the batter. And in a food processor, this would be a dream. If you're improvising, it works as well. But uh, get our last dash or two in. Now it's just a matter of stirring her up if you're like me, or if you have food processor, you're up in the food processor, and you've, uh, by doing this, you're going to save thousands a year in tartar sauce that you would have to buy, but yeah, it's looking passable already, then you let that sit for a little bit, the flavors get to know each other, meld together, and uh, that's how you save your money there.